Good morning. It's July 14th, and today we're in uh, 1 Chronicles chapter eight, uh, 17, and it's very much parallel to 2 Samuel 7, which is the Davidic covenant. And so in this little section here, God um, actually has an idea to build a house for the Lord. And it's interesting, I think, that it starts off with uh, his um, telling this to Nathan in chapter 17, verse 1. It says, David was settled in the palace. He said to Nathan the prophet, Here I am, living in a house of cedar, while the ark of the covenant of the Lord is under a tent. And then Nathan replied to David, Whatever you have in mind, do it, for God is with you. But the next verse says, But that night the word of the Lord came to Nathan. So apparently Nathan spoke without having consulted the Lord with it, which I think is a bit odd. It's not. There's nothing rebuking here. Nothing. I mean, there's not a rebuke given by the narrator here to tell us that this was wrong of Nathan to do, but it seems that he spoke out of turn because um, God is going to come and tell him that uh, he's going to make a covenant with David, and so he does that, and there are some things that he covenants with David just as God had covenant with Abraham. Here's the Davidic covenant, and it includes a name that God is going to make David's name great, that he's going to give him a house the, or uh, a, a number of descendants, a dynasty that comes after him, and then also a throne that will be an eternal throne. I will set um, uh, one of your descendants, I will set him over my house and my kingdom forever. His throne will be established forever. So these are the things that are promised by God in this Davidic covenant here. I like David's response as well. His response as well. He spends quite a bit of time uh, just responding, um, Who am I, Lord God, and what is my family that you have brought me this far? And if, that, and if that were not enough in your sight, my God, you have spoken about the future of the house of your servant. You, Lord God, have looked on me as though I were the most exalted of men. So David's response to that is um, a very humble and um, uh, honored response. And uh, I think it's a good um, word that comes from David in response to what God has said for him here. So very important moment here, the giving of the Davidic covenant to David. As we said, it was um, the parallel of Second Samuel chapter 7. All right, that's it for today.